All right, we just had like a red cell come through. I wanted to show you what this looks like. So here's our dry well. And you know how we have those ports at, up top? Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Now, it's not raining. I'm standing here because we just had a... Look at this. All this water came out of this system that we put in. Now, we have the full video on this system. Look at that drywall. It was even more, and I had to run and go get my camera equipment. The water was the mushroom effect coming up out of those four inch full throttle grates. These are French drain mans, full throttle, four inch grates. We got two of them at the top of our drywall. That way if all the holes that we drilled in it are not enough, and it becomes overwhelmed, it overflows. You can see it's working as it was designed. The water's dropping so fast, it's mind, mind blowing. So we ran our system through every area that would hold and pond water. It starts way up there behind the office house. It was a big project that we took on because I got tired of the water hanging around so even though this job didn't pay because this is one of my properties you know we went ahead and put in a system i wanted to show you guys the results so we had two inches of rain that came so fast i mean it, it came it was coming down so hard you couldn't drive you had to pull to the shoulder of the road so you get two inches flash flood does the system work? Does the system keep up? This is a gravity powered system. This is gravity. Look at this. This looks more like a landscape water feature, doesn't it? I mean, you would swear there's pumps. You would think to yourself, there's gotta be pumps moving this kind of water. I mean, I can't even begin to really guess how much water we're moving. I mean, uh, okay, if I take the slope that we're on and what two corrugated pipes can move, I can do the math and I could give you guys a good, good guesstimation that'd get us in the ballpark. Look at this, look at this. It's starting to settle down now. Francisco and Valente, they dug out a really nice swale, put in a culvert, 100 feet of culvert pipe over there. Man, oh man, we are moving water. We are moving some serious water. And like I said, they're, they're, believe it or not, it was actually moving more water earlier. But right now it's trying to take it in. Now this is an open French drain. I'm going to show you something. Look at this. See what this open French drain is doing? You see all that water dancing? You see all that water moving? That water is flowing right through the stone, right into the French drain. Nothing moves water faster than an open French drain. That is just sick. The water's going in that dry well. Obviously, this dry well can't handle this kind of rain. It can handle a two inch rain that comes in 12 hours. It's not gonna, you know, a two inch rain that's just a flash flood. Well, that's just flood water. Look at that. You guys always want to see our systems working. I know it doesn't get any better than that. Gravity powered system, everybody. Gravity powered system. I have the full install video for this showing everything we did.
Man, oh man. That's two corrugated pipes going to a seven foot deep dry well. And those two corrugated pipes are running wide open, man. They're running they're running wide open. We're just we're moving so much water. That's just crazy. You don't get to see this too often because it's all about timing. You gotta be in the right place at the right time with your camera equipment. This is a flash flood. I was so tired of the water ponding behind our office farmhouse. Man, are we moving the water. That is just crazy, man. Just nuts. So this is, you know, gonna run for a while, obviously. It's gotta catch up. That flash flood, it doesn't give water, a, you know, a chance for the ground to really take it in. Man, I love when a plan comes together. That is a beautiful system right there. Those four inch grates, they're not overwhelmed. They're not restricting the system in any way. Those four inch grates, that's why we call them a full throttle. We got two grates under that title, that category, that description. And yeah, that trademark. We got a full throttle four inch and a full throttle six inch. There's basically nothing there for great. And it definitely flows four times the water of any other four inch great and or six inch great. Man, that's a beautiful sight right there. So we always build our dry wells and we set them up so that when they're maxed out, they're where they need to be for overflow. I mean, when you're laying out your design system, there's so much thought that really needs to go into play. I know people just dig a hole and put a drywall anywhere, but that's, that's not really what you wanna do. Man, that's beautiful stuff right there, man. Yeah, the guys did a great job. They did a really, really good job. They must have got it right. It's working pretty good. Yeah, that two inches of rain came fast, came quick. We don't typically get monsoons here in Michigan. But that would have fell in the category of a monsoon, for sure. Gravity, that's a gravity system. That's why you want slope on your system. Everybody says, oh, you don't need slope. Well, I, I agree, you don't need it. But the luxury to it is you're going to move water faster. You're going to evacuate the water from the premises much quicker if you build your system with slope. If you don't have the slope, you can put a pump system in. When you put a pump system in, you could put as much slope on it as you want. 1%, 1.5%, 2%, whatever your heart desires because you're putting in a pump system. Now, of course... The more slope you put on it, the deeper you're gonna be at the pump, so the deeper your sump pit will have to be. So there's a yielding threshold to everything. Man, that's a beautiful sight. That's a beautiful sight right there. This is a Michigan drain. Yard drain, French drain combination. Going to a dry well set up so that its overflow goes in a swale that heads down to a detention pond. You guys did a beautiful job. Everything is working as designed. What is it about running water? It's like staring into a campfire. 
you can just listen to it and watch it forever. So I'm always talking about pounds per square inch and downspout lines and discharge lines, building systems so that they have pounds per square inch. Well, you can see by the water coming up out of this dry well, there's like a mushroom of water that there's definitely some pounds per square inch here, meaning this line is going to be clean. You don't want to oversize your line. I have so many people in the comments saying, I don't know if I should go up to a six inch system. The answer is 95% of the time, no, you don't want to go to a six inch system because it's going to mellow this flow down. The larger the area, the more mellow the water becomes because it spreads across the greater area. Losing its energy, it's pounds per square inch. In most cases, the six inch line will build up with sediment because it doesn't flow with enough pounds per square inch to push the debris through the system. So I like to even undersize my systems. If I'm sitting on the fence, I'm always gonna go, all right, we're just gonna max it out because the lines are gonna be clean. They're never gonna clog. And you can see this system was designed on two four inch pipes. I'm really happy with my decision. It's doing just fine. We're moving a sick amount of water. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, this is this is kind of like a a small riverbed. It is just wild. That's two four-inch pipes. That's what you see here. Two four-inch pipes sending all this water. This goes you know, for probably 250 feet and gets deposited in a detention area, detention pond. I can leave the link to the full install video if you wanna see the installation. If you're new, Subscriber, you didn't catch that last year. This was a system we put in last year. Yeah, 250 feet of collection system. Now the entire discharge line was on knife cut. It was two four inch knife cuts. And it's designed to take in water as well as leach water here's one of the trick to the trades we have a 200 foot distance between our collection system and our dry well we're running two discharge lines it's a big collection system we're going to have our discharge line grabbing up surface water the whole distance that it's discharging the water we ran knife cut instead of solid pipe so that we can do that so let's break down this technique when we have a two inch rainfall and we've been in a drought, we have 200 feet of leach line. Probably not even a drop of water is gonna make it to this dry well. Now when we have a lot of rain, it's our rainy season, spring, fall, we're getting quite a few rains throughout the week. Maybe you're on your third two inch rainfall of the week. There's gonna be puddles in this field that we're trying to dry up that leach line is gonna work in reverse for you. It's gonna take in the surface water. So if it was a drought, it would charge the subsurface soil. If everything was as dry as can be, you wouldn't see no water coming out of here because the leach line, you got 250 feet of system. That's basically 250 feet of dry well. Once the soil can't take in any more water, It'll finally make it to this monster seven foot deep dry well. Now this was 30 inches round and seven feet deep. That's a big dry well.
but we've had so much rain as of lately, the soil was already fully charged, so the soil wasn't going to take any in. So the leach line acted as a discharge line. I mean, basically, it's sending all the water. This is going to run for a little bit. This is probably going to run for another hour like this. Moving some water. So yeah, we've built a lot of systems over the years and we know what they do. We don't necessarily need to go back to them to see that they do their job anymore because we know our results are 100%. We've never had a dissatisfied customer, ever. There has never been a drain job that we couldn't solve. Look at that. All right, everybody. I'll leave the link to the install of this video. I'll leave a link to the entire system, the installation process, so that you can see what makes this thing go. If you like the content that I'm putting on YouTube, this educational content about drainage for free give me a thumbs up it really helps out the channel i'm your host robert sherwood and until that next video